Mortal Kombat 1 just got announced today, and there's more information that wasn't shown in the trailers that Mortal Kombat and Netherrealm answer in a frequently asked question Q&A. Now, all this information is for sure. There might be some speculative information coming from me, but check this out. You're going to be excited. Things like confirmed characters and game mechanics have been announced, so let's check it out right away. So they go right off the rip with what type of game is Mortal Kombat 1. And in here, they say that Mortal Kombat 1 is the latest title in acclaimed Mortal Kombat video game franchise developed by the award-winning NetherRealm Studios, which I love so much. Ed Boon has done such a great job, and so has the entire team. The game will introduce a reborn Mortal Kombat universe that has been created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before, along with a new fighting system, game modes, bone-crushing finishing moves, and more so maybe they'll have like some sort of x-rays come back who knows uh, but i can't wait to see a new fighting system and then they elaborate a little bit more on the new fighting system later on and it's going to be awesome they go on to answer who is developing mortal kombat 1 so nether realm is developing the ps5 and the xbox series x and s version of the game whereas the steam and epic game store version of the game is being developed by qloc i'm not sure who they are and then there's a nintendo switch version of the game being developed by Shipper Entertainment and Saber Interactive. Mortal Kombat 1 will release on September 19th and there will be ways to play it before that date. So players who purchased the Mortal Kombat 1 Premium Edition or Collector's Edition will have early access to the game on September 14th. So I'm already going to be totally hopping on that early access, but there will also be a beta. So players who pre-order the game on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S will receive access to a Mortal Kombat 1 beta, which will be available on August, 2023. Some people are probably curious about the price. It's going to be $70, just like how all games are kind of moving over to that $70 price point. Um, the premium edition will be $109 for the PS5, Xbox Series X, S, Nintendo Switch, and PC. It will include the standard edition content along with the combat pack, early access to the game beginning September 14th with 1,250 dragon crystals, which sounds like an in-game currency. Um, the combat pack will feature Johnny Cage character skin with the likeness of famed actor and martial artist Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> That's awesome. Early access to new to six new playable characters available post launch and five new cameo fighters available post launch. So we need to talk about this cameo fighter thing here in a second. The confirmed characters in Mortal Kombat 1 will be Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Kung Lao, Kitana, Melina, Shang Tsung, Johnny Cage, and many others. And I mean, they are not shy with the roster especially in mortal kombat 11 they had a massive roster so i would definitely expect to see some more and possibly some dc characters hopefully some people coming over from injustice 2 or 1 i i can't wait for an injustice 3 but right now we're focused on more combat okay so what's a cameo fighter a cameo fighter is a unique roster of partner characters to assist during matches creating expanded gameplay possibilities for players these characters are chosen separately from the main roster of fighters. So these are going to be characters that you can't choose. Like you can't, I'm assuming that you can't choose Sub-Zero to go with Scorpion as a cameo fighter. So cameo fighter is going to be characters, I don't know, maybe side characters in the story, maybe some side characters in other universes. I'm really excited to see how these play into the game. And I hope it's not cheesy or weird or doesn't feel outdated. I hope it's up to date. And I think that we could trust NetherRealm Studios to create an up to date sort of cameo fighter deal. What type of modes will Mortal Kombat 1 have? NetherRealm's genre defining story mode returns with a brand new cinematic narrative featuring unexpected twists on classic rivalries. Okay, so Sub Zero and Scorpion, maybe they work together, who knows? And original backstories for the wide ranging cast of legendary fighters. More details for online and offline modes will be coming soon. Is an internet connection required to play Mortal Kombat 1? No, you will not need an internet connection to experience certain modes and features, but there will it will be necessary if you wanna play online and fight other players. So that's basically the most important information that you need to know about Mortal Kombat 1. Let me know, are you excited to play the game? I just can't wait to see a gameplay trailer. I really wanna see what the end game looks like. And I have reason to believe, especially from Ed Boon tweeting on Twitter, this week is gonna be crazy. And this was the first drop this week since he said that. So it's only been two days since that tweet. So I can't wait to see if there's more stuff added throughout the week. And if we see a gameplay trailer or even a developer interaction with gameplay, it's gonna be very exciting. We also have the PlayStation 
uh, premiere next Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday, next Wednesday, May 24th. So there should be some exciting stuff. I could totally expect to see Mortal Kombat 1 news on that day. So let me know what you think. Are you going to get the game? Are you not going to get the game? And are you excited? Because I'm definitely hyped up. I'm at like a 9.5 out of 10. I just need to see more. All right. Peace.